20. Welcome to Swamp Stories Episode 5. Today, we're headed to Vallejo, California, the legendary town of Mac Dre and E-40. Vallejo is a small city of about 120,000, and it's not interesting at all. Anyone from Vallejo will really admit that there's nothing to do there. I even heard someone say Vallejo is just Antioch with good rappers. Fun fact, Vallejo was California's first city to go bankrupt. They had to cut their police department down to 11 police officers on duty at a time. And for a while, it was an unwritten rule in the Bay Area that you can get away with anything in Vallejo because they really had no cops. Vallejo is a confusing place though because it looks like you're driving through any American suburb. It has never ending neighborhoods that look like this. But don't let looks fool you because it has a high crime rate. But hey, if you're ever bored in Vallejo, you can just go sit outside and pretend you're listening to fireworks. I'm joking of course, but not really, because 2020 was a rough year for Vallejo. They broke their all-time murder record. It's no laughing matter because many of these murders were teenagers and women. In this series, I'll be unveiling many of these murders and what's behind them. But first, let's talk about the main reason you clicked on the video. SOBRBE. This legendary Bay Area group will be the main focus of the series. You'll find out why the group is now beefing with each other. But in this first episode, you'll learn about the street life of SOBRBE and their beefs before the breakup. But before we get started, let me run the intro. First, let me introduce you to the SOB side. Slimmy B grew up on Cynthia Ave in the Crestside neighborhood. Growing up, he was a basketball prodigy. He played for the Oakland Soldiers in Vallejo High, where he graduated in 2015. Check out some of his highlights. He was cold. Hoop dreams didn't pan out for Slimmy B and neither did working a 9 to 5. He told a story on Vlad TV about how he quit his job and then decided to rob a house across the street from him. Then after he got famous, he decided to give the money back to his neighbors. Anyways, the next SOB rapper is Du Bois. Du Bois' father is from the Crest and he went by the nickname Ice Cold, but he was sentenced to a long prison term for pimping in a hit and run accident in Oakland in 2005. Du Bois didn't grow up in the Crest though, he grew up in different areas of Vallejo. He moved to the wealthy suburbs of Benicia in middle school. He played basketball for Benicia High School and graduated in 2015. Hoop dreams didn't pan out for Du Bois either and he would try to work at Taco Bell but the money was too slow for him. And that's when he would pursue his career in rap. The next member is Lil G. He's from the Crest as well, and he would drop out of high school to pursue the street life and then music. SOB is based in the Crest Side neighborhood, where Mac Dre was from. SOB has a lot of younger members that aren't relevant in the music scene, but are very important for this video. A few of them go by Band Life Birdie, Lil Thieves, Doughboy, Cuddy Cam, and many more. RBE. RBE is a group based in North Vallejo as well, but not in the Crest. More so on the other side of Fairgrounds Drive in these apartments called Casa del Monte. RBE would be started by Young Tio. Young Tio grew up in North Vallejo, raised by his grandmother and his uncle Lamont on Notre Dame Drive. He was a child performer at local festivals and fairs since he was 8 years old. Tio would go to Jesse Bethel High School in Vallejo, where he would eventually drop out. He would start RBE with the help of his uncle Lamont and his cousin Flex City Streets. There's another RBE rapper named Lil Sheik who grew up in Richmond but moved to Vallejo when he was in middle school. This is where he would meet his best friend Tutu. Everything was good between SOB and RBE, and they basically became one big gang together. In 2016, they would start dropping music and got really famous. While they were getting famous though, a lot of bad things were happening in the streets. At this time, SOB, RBE had the same ops. They were beefing with the group out of South Vallejo's Marina Vista apartments called Shred Money. The groups would be beefing in the streets, but it would not get serious until June 3rd, 2017. On the afternoon of June 3rd, Lil Sheik and his two close friends Tutu and Quez are hanging out at the Casa del Monte apartments in North Vallejo. That's when a car pulls up and starts shooting. Lil Sheik allegedly runs behind a dumpster while Quez runs too. Tutu gets hit by one bullet to his stomach. Lil Sheik's mom rushes Tutu to the hospital where he would go to surgery. Everyone thought that he would be okay because he only got hit once in the stomach. He would tragically pass away at the hospital. 
The aftermath of the killing would get ugly. Lil Sheik would kick Quez out of the group for not shooting back when Tutu got hit. SOB RBE would drop an album to commemorate Tutu and on this album Lil Sheik would diss Quez. He would say it ain't our fault that Quez froze up with his stick and I had to get up out the way so I wouldn't get hit. Basically Sheik is alleging that he didn't have his gun on him at the time but Quez did. He's basically saying that Quez froze up in the moment. But Quez would have his own rebuttal. First he would post on his Instagram story and then he would make a diss track to Lil Sheik. At this time, Lil Sheik starts beefing with the group he used to be cool with in Richmond. The Guap Boys of Southside Richmond would go back and forth with Sheik. Heard Guap off this smoke, nigga, I'm a sin at. Really mad they hit my DMs, I ain't even hit back. But I fuck with my nigga legs, we was stuck in that camp. Used to fuck with that nigga Bub X and we go way back. And if y'all wonder why it's Funkos, he put y'all in that. Got that black beamer flip thinking you aren't in traffic. I ain't influenced all of you niggas to grab the mic and start rapping. Heard y'all sharing the same strap, it's my turn, bro. Pass it. Benicia spoiled ass nigga claim it's out the mud. Yo, mama on the DMV, you never sold drugs. Went to jail a couple times, got you thinking you tough. You say you from the rich, you from the V. Little nigga, you can't have this shit from me. This where I live, this where I be. Little nigga, you ain't playing by the rules. Acting hard, trying to walk your daddy's shoes. You a spoon fed nigga talking something you're not But I can show you how it is when you fuck with the guap I see niggas name dropping like it's part of the game If it's on and it's on, nigga run me my fade And you think you a boy but dig ride SOB Where you get your game from? Lead the street in the streets This is random but on February 5th 2018 Du Bois would be arrested for carrying two guns It looks like an FN and a Glock 43 on June 30th, 2018, a young SOB member Trevion Reddick and friends were leaving a venue in downtown Oakland. That's when a car pulls up and starts shooting. Trevion, aka Trey Dirk, passes away. He was the son of Crest rapper Coolio, and young T.O. would get him tatted on his face. At this point in time, the group is all functioning as one, and they're doing shows together all across the country where they're blowing up. Kendrick Lamar would even put them on the soundtrack of Black Panther. The group was catching the attention of mainstream artists all over the country. Lil Yachty even wanted to do a song with them and they actually recorded it. But then, SOB RBE would go on stage and say, we're the best group in the game, fuck the Migos. <laughs> After that, Lil Yachty's label would make sure that the song would never come out. While all this success is happening, they're still beefing with Shred Money in South Vallejo. April 14th, 2019. Shred member EJ, also known as Elijah Humphrey, is shot dead in South Vallejo. Crest members would go on live and clown his death. Who about that, that one faggot that got found with his ass in there? Easy, <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 hey, don't act like, don't act like little E ain't get lit, let booty up. Bro, that niggas down there red cool, EJ, bro. Hey, they said they left that little nigga stinking ass, but hey, they pushed their own nigga out the road. May 22nd, 2020. A 15 year old from the Marina Vista Apartments is in the car with his mom picking up food from King's Market in the Crest. That's when shots are fired into the car. He would survive the shooting, but his mother would pass away. Little ass boy, tuck yourself in or something, nigga, cause your mommy not here to do it no more, little bitch. Bitch, fuck your mama, nigga. Fuck your dead ass mama. Nigga. He said, fuck the meal, bitch. Fuck your mama, nigga. Fuck your mama, nigga. Fuck, fuck the meal, bitch. Fuck Camille, bitch. Fuck Camille, uh -huh. bitch. We, we got 10 million, bitch. We air her stupid ass out through the ground. Let's start talking about Uncle Willie and shit that y'all got hit up too. Why the fuck the Crest be so dead? Nah, Uncle Willie. <laughs> Uncle Willie. 
Uncle Willie. Got his ass fanned up. Hit that fucking top. July 25th, 2020. SOB and Crest member Banlife Birdie is on Gateway Drive in the Crest. That's when men pull up and start shooting. He would be left dead on the scene. Then, on November 28th, 2020, Crest member Doughboy is shot dead in the same area. Before his death, Doughboy would make this song. Reminiscing about the past, I'm thinking about Birdie. Like how these suckers niggas catch you is really my fault. I know you niggas wanna kill me, little bro, give it up. I heard you mm, wanna kill me, little bro, give it up. I'm on two, do, Birdie, fucking, uh, who that? Dada. You niggas got hella dead, niggas, bro. You niggas love coming my life, wanting to argue and shit. How about on two, trade, Birdie, do, hella little shit. Stupid. Y'all got dead, y'all got, bro. Y'all getting grannies and shit got on, bro. I'm not even finna argue. Other Crest rappers would also diss the Marina Vistas, also known as 201 or Shred Money. Hey, I'm trying to hit another block with this Glock and see what niggas on. We catch me, go stretch him. Twos and threes, yeah, I be in the zone. I up this fully switch on my right hand and do a nigga wrong. Hey, I be to the neck. I paint the block red and then I shake. Don't go to 201. We flipping anything, come out the gates and I'm a real stepper. Count your blessings because we will step. Yeah, me and Fuck 200 and you 100k, we been stepped on. We been through the crash, back to back until I'm dead gone. We still mini world and EJ clicking, what I rap for? I since EJ clicking milli world, bitch, we outside and we tripping. Every nigga that I'm with told in the Jeezy with extension. Gotta keep a skeezy on me, mostly sucking niggas snitching. 201, that's where I be, but niggas know I'm from that six. You claiming twos, you getting blitz. Bitch, it's hard for me to miss this. Ain't no line, bitch, just a nick. Bounce, I don't even let it drip. It ain't no coming off the hip. I'ma have you niggas sick. Real niggas on my team, when I call them, they gon' come through. We play with chops with sticks, then bitches kicking like it's kung fu. You niggas got no straps, it's hella straps, my niggas run through. You speaking on Lil E, then Lil E gon' come and hunt you. On July 14th, 2021, a 15-year-old was gunned down outside the Marina Vista apartments. So new at 9, police are trying to find whomever killed a 15-year-old in Vallejo. It happened just before 6 o'clock tonight. Someone reported a shooting on Main Street just east of Mare Island Way. Officers showed up. They found the teenage boy who was shot at least once. He was declared dead at the scene. Anyone with information is being asked to call Vallejo police. A 28-year-old man from Richmond was arrested for the shooting. This episode basically served as an intro to the group and what was going on behind closed doors while they were together. If you're from the Bay, you may have already known much of this information. The next episode will be the crazy one. You'll find out why the group broke up, who they were beefing with, and who dissed them. You'll also find out who's in jail for murder and much more. So stay tuned for episode 2. This one's gonna get crazy.